So we're upstairs now, and I understand that Jamie and Jackie are not normally allowed up oh, here. I'm just, <laughs> just teasing. I know, I'm teasing, I'm teasing. We did want to just briefly talk about how you had all started downstairs. And this, I mean, because the building itself houses 14 artists, is that correct? Mm -hmm. I know we've chatted with Mary Moquin and Melissa Morris of, of the 14 as well. Um, but now, Richard, talk a little bit about how you're up here, and then we wanted to also talk a little bit about the work and what it's like when you're creating in a studio. And then now, and then when we see it in the museum, so what it's like taking your piece of work from here out? Well, it was about, it was, it was five years ago, almost exactly, that we moved into that space, the space downstairs. And uh, I remember the first day we, you know, the first week or so that we moved in, Jackie and I were hauling in shelves and bringing in materials and paints and everything, and we were wondering, like, when, wonder when Jamie's going to arrive. <laughs> Jamie finally arrived with a roll of paper and a pan and some watercolors. He put the roll of paper on one wall and he rolled it out, and he started painting. <laughs> <laughs> and he's gotten a, a little more stuff over there. A little time. more. But in general, I tend to be a lot more, and you can probably see a lot more of a collector of lots of stuff. and. Um, Probably the most guilty party was me that our room got pretty tight after a few years. So we started talking about the possibility of maybe one of us moving up upstairs here, and it ended up to be me. And I'm I'm real happy with the space, and I have half of the space now, just like Jackie and Jamie have half each downstairs. So um, this is how I, we we ended up. But we're still right in the same building, and I get to see them pretty much every day over here. Well, when Richard works, he has a, a pile, a debris pile around him quite often. And it'll be fabric, it'll be tar paper, it'll be shingles, wood, everything you can imagine. Somebody called it a nest one day. Yeah, I, I mean, I've gotten to a point where I don't throw anything away without bringing it to him first, you know, to make or sure. Or you do, and then you see it back in the pile. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Um, and so that's part of the evolution, I think, was why he needed more space was because he's working really large with a lot, of, a lot of fabric, a lot of material, a lot of glue, a lot of paint, just everything. And so it made a lot of sense that he had a little more space than what we could sort well, of we were Well, we were away. all backing into each other a lot. Yeah. And as we back away from the wall to look at your piece, you're like, oh, bumping into somebody. <laughs> so it was time. It's time. And pretty soon yeah. we're going to each have our own studio, right? I'm ready for that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. No, well, that's funny, too, because we've spent most of our careers working in total isolation. Yeah. You know, I'm, I never painted with other people yeah. until this event. You know, so for most of my whole life, my studio is like total isolation, and, and this is a new thing still to get used we to. We wondered if it would work out, really. Yeah. You know, we probably yeah. all were apprehensive about being in the same room, but it did work out. I mean, you have to make some compromises when you're sharing space, but it's... It's different for me. I have not had my own studio yet. Oh. Sorry. So I'm going to grow up to right? that someday soon. <laughs> and, but I think, and, and there's something to be said for that, and something to be said for when you have your time alone, but then being in an environment such as this, and what we talked about earlier is just having that, um, mm -hmm. those people around you to get that in, input and push you further than what you normally would do. So it's nice to have your own space and work when you want, but then to be able to open your doors and, and have the others right here. It's really, yeah, uh, and it's such an important community, I think. Mm, it's really... There's so, a, yeah, there's a certain amount of carnival when you do that this way. Walking in, I'm always surprised when I walk up here, you know, between Caitlin's work and John's work and Richard's work. It's always just, it's a fun house coming in here. Now know? let me ask you about your work because as we say in the studio, you can work on a piece and, and I've always asked artists, how do you know when it's done? You know, if you work on it, you go back to it, it could take an hour, it could take you know, several hours, it could take several years to finish a piece. Once you think that piece is done, and as we say here, you're in the studio and now you've taken it out, when you see it, when you hung the work in the museum, what kind of feeling is that? I mean, do you think, oh, I should have done something else, I want to take it back and work on it, or, or it's what's really, that ultimate feel? It really feel? does change the work immensely. I mean, my studio is pretty cleaned up right now because we're having an open studio <laughs> event soon, so it looks different than usually what Jamie described, but Usually there are so, much, so many things around your piece or in front of your piece that when you finally isolate it somewhere, somewhere like a museum or in a show, it's very different. It gets smaller or bigger. 
or you notice things like you said about it that you maybe didn't want or that you like. It's, it's really a different experience, but it's usually a really good one. Yeah, yeah, it's a great way to see your own work a little more objectively. You can step out of yourself a little bit once the work is cleaned up and on the walls. And then you can kind of give, be a little more critical about your own work um, just by seeing how it groups together, how it cleans up. And, um, and then I always learn a lot from every show and go, oh, okay, next time. Next time it's going to be like this or like yeah. that or um, the, the importance of, of having the work out of the studio. It's just, um, it's really great and it's, um, I think it's really important for all artists to just keep, to show their work. Um, a lot happens in that experience and this show that we're going to go see at the museum did, did that for me. Even seeing it paired up with other art, artworks, you see how your work um, looks you know, with other people's work, and um, that's that's a lot to learn. From well, also in the too. studio, in the in the studio, you have an obligation. If you're going to go from the studio to a museum, you have an obligation to make sure your painting is finished, right? You don't want to go in and say, "Oh, I should have done this." Right. You really look at the work over and over again. You bring these guys in to critique the work. You know, um, it's it's a given that by the time you get the painting to the museum, it is finished. There's nothing more to do to it. Uh, at least in my opinion, that that's sort of one of the givens with, with when you take it out of the studio. and You know you're going to put it under a great light, on a great wall, and that hundreds of people are going to see it. It just has to be right, you know, with nothing left unfinished. You know, that's how you know when a painting is finished, when there's nothing that bothers you. You know, if something is constantly, I mean, you would think a painting is finished, and you walk away from it and come back the next day and go, I hate that, you know, and it would be, or it's not quite right. And, and so this is a great evolution because that's finished, that's over with by the time you take it to a museum. For the time being. being. Yeah. For the time being. <laughs> I'm not working any Sometimes of those paintings. They None of those after paintings. they've been shown for me. <laughs> those are finished for me. Right. They're done. You know? Well, um, we're excited to head to the museum. And, and on a last note, I bet it's interesting. And just as I say, I'd love to be in the back room when all of you are together. It must be just a thrill. Uh, and quite an experience to stand back and watch other people looking at your work and seeing your work that you don't know and, and what no, they're fine. saying sure, and hearing. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Always, yeah. It's the completion of your art. Sure. Sure. You've actually been working on it and then you put it so that people can see it. It's, it's the ultimate satisfaction. Part of that yeah. process.